Hello and welcome to another LNER 377 review and today we have the Lego High Speed Passenger Train Set. I've been meaning to do this for a while because I've had it since the summer. But it is a really nice set. It comes with three cars. The powered car, the centre car and the dummy unit. They are really nice but I'm going to do the power car first. So... Just move everything else out of the way. And what we are going to do is have a quick look around the outside of the loco or train, the EMU, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, it is really nice. It is really nice. For Lego, it, it is quite a nice model for Lego. Well, toy. And it does look really good. And it does look amazing going around the track. And I do like the pantograph on top as well. So we're going to go inside. So what we're going to do is lift that off. This off. And this off. And as you can see, just, there's a lot of wiring in there. So that's the transceiver and then there's a signal goes to the motor and then there's some wires going to this the power motor and that does got traction tyres and it's quite heavy this this end in here this is a gigantic moulded piece but it is really nice gives the train a real sleek look and the cab detail isn't really good not really, they're just giving you one panel. I think they could have done better, as I have done better, because I have um, modified it. So that's that. This is the driver figure. If the camera wants to focus today. There we go. And as you can see, it's quite a nice figure. It's, in, um, it's got a train driver's hat and that. It is really nice, and I really like this figure to drive the train. So what I'm gonna do is um, show you this. This is the um, centre coach. As you can see, it looks really nice. And I will just point out, I have bought an extra one of these to make it a four coach train instead of three, because I thought three just looked a bit too short. So. Inside then, there's, unfortunately there's only four seats, but there's enough to fit four people and two at the end. Just see four people, two people at the end. And you can even fit a bike in there, which is nice. I'm just going to put that one back on. There we go. So that's that. Not really much to say on that. But I have done a few modifications to the third car. See the pantograph there? Well, that used to be far forward, same on the power car. And it did not look realistic, so I put it there to make it more look realistic. Because when have you ever seen a real train have a pantograph right there? If you have, maybe you have, but certainly not in England, I don't think anyway. So it is quite nice. It's a shame that this is so short there between both bogies. But you gotta expect something like that to occur. And there is no doors, but it looks better without any doors actually I think. And that's the passenger accommodation. So what I'm gonna do is open this up. Show you the cab that I have done. I've basically put an extra panel in there and I have put this wall and it doesn't look really good there but when I've actually put it the thing on the cab it looks really nice. So I am going to put the figure in, drive the train. I'm going to put this on. I am going to put the roof on. So that's ready. Just 
got to reassemble this. So I believe that one there. This one there. And this one there. I'm just going to show you how you turn this actual train on. It's really neat. It's, you could, there's no power on button. You just simply go. Just press that down. As you can see the green light glows up. Then just press that down. And it is a really nice way of doing it. And I think that is really good. So. I'm going to go over to the track. So we can see that one of the cars have already been placed on. Just going to. This is a dummy car. I'm going to put that on there. And they are really nice coupling systems as well. So I'll make sure they are on the track properly. And finally for the power card to go on. Just gonna get it on like so. So just get it all in shot. And before we do power on. I'm just going to show you the controller that you get with this, which is rather nice. It's just a standard controller. And before we do start, I'm just going to show you this. So this is the, um, the little station you get. You do get two extra figures as well, but I'm not sure where they are. And I do like this. It's really nice as well. So I think it's definitely time. It's on the track. And um just got to put this on. So that's on. And time to give it some juice. It only comes with four straights in the set, so it makes a really small running loop. So I bought the extra chain. Make it go a bit more faster. Not stop it. And it looks really nice. That's it for this video. Bye.